Plug in. Plug in, dude. Come on, man, open up. There we go. What's up, Schmutt? How you doing? Hey, AJ. What's going on? Oh, it's going to be a low-key job tonight. Guarantee. What's up, Penny Pincher? Prancer. I haven't seen you in a while, Prancer. Where you been? Where have you been, smelly cat? How you doing? Always nice, nice to see smelly cat. They just finished all this, doing a lot of this road resurfacing out here today. God, it was noisy. Wow. They had some heavy, heavy equipment. Every time there's a boom, 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 boom. All right, this guy's setting me a screen. Or as we used to say in basketball in the old days, a pick. Oh, I switched to decals. Oh, when you say that. Yes, yes. We do love our Smelly Cat. Smelly Cat is a channel institution here. How you doing, Ronnie? Happy Thursday. As usual, Thursday, I'm just, I'm just beating, I'll just put it, I'm beating to hell, man. I am beating to hell. It has been a hell of a week, guys. Pounding balls, wrestling with a 200-pound iron tank. I am just frigged, frigged. There's an old Dodge Caravan. Wow. Hey, come on, honey, get in that car. Get that cute Mexican butt in that car. You know it's going to pick me up and make me feel great. A nice hot cup of coffee. Nice hot cup of coffee. I'm going to be pounding no balls tonight. It's going to be really chilly. Birds like passed out back at the ranch. Yeah. It's exhausted. We're all exhausted. Watching your wild doves eat their dinner. That's cool. What's up, uh, Michigan lady? I will return presently.
right. I have returned. Let me say hi to everybody this evening. Da, 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 da. Some of you have seen the job repairing the uh, cast iron, saving a thousand bucks. Let me say hi to some people here. Rosemary, we got Tio's. I'm not going to curse Tio's landscaping anymore. How you doing, uh, Lisa, Michigan lady, Tio's. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving to all my wonderfuls coming up Monday. You like the way I put my little message? Got through 100 pound of wild seed a month. Flickering light inside. Is my light flickering? Another weirdo. <laughs> Another weirdo. Another weirdo at the 7 Eleven. Oh, shit. Oh, man. You did a great job. Oh, thank you, Carol. Good to see you. It felt good. Hi, McDave. But I'm spent, guys. I got zero entertainment value tonight. How do you like my honesty? The most honest person on YouTube. I got zero entertainment value tonight. I'm, I am clubbed up. Uh, I've just slept like crap last night I terrible 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 every way I turn is pain lean forward pain backwards sideways forget about picking something off the floor my house looks like somebody like this look like shit exploded because I can't pick it up off the floor all right it's too painful <laughs> let's sit there those crackers on the floor just step around them all right don't don't crunch them up you guys know that you guys know that it ain't it ain't work fit for an old bat to be wrestling 200 pound cast iron uh well tanks and stuff but look at this this way guys when you can save a thousand dollars how you doing how you doing donna thank you hey blue when you can save a thousand bucks, you're gonna. I'll wrestle a damn grizzly bear, man. I don't care. All right. You know, you got a dollar bill on the ground. You got a grizzly bear twenty feet away. You got me twenty feet away. It's on. All right. Don't get the hell in my way, man. I'll be taking you out. I I don't feel bad, Prancer. You know, I love to over exaggerate shit. That's what people tell me on the channel, right? Rosie over exaggerates <laughs> on everything. I moved mean, 500 pound hot water heater 20 years ago. That must have been a damn institute for an institution. Uh, it's been fun, but thurs Thursday nights are always very prob. I can tell you what's going to happen at the end. I can't tell you the exact size. I do have some of that rice that I cooked up the other night. And I got some shrimp that have been thawed at, and we're gonna do a shrimp fry to end the evening, and that'll be nice. I'm going for the dollar bill. That's it, Donna. People know me. You know what I mean, Donna. If it's, you know, I get pissed off when somebody outside the 7-Eleven picks up a couple coins on the ground that I missed. Okay, that's. I feel like that's my, my stuff to do. That's my stuff that you grabbed over there. I don't know. I'm going to go for it. So we'll hang around. It's getting cold these days. I think it was in the 40s last night. So I got, in case we walk around later tonight, I got my El Cortez and Donna. I hate to trigger uh, flashbacks and anything of Vegas, honey, but Vegas with Rosie is a far different experience than Vegas with, um, oh, no, I got my El Cortez jacket there. So, there it goes. Okay, in case it gets colder, and that's from Mr. Z bought that from me from the casino gift shop. Just one more work day until the weekend. If only the weekend was three days. Well, it was good luck. How you tattoo crazy? LD, LD, how you doing? It was my good fortune that um, I had a very light work schedule this week. I had a very light work schedule didn't hardly have to do anything this week because I busted my I busted my nut last week getting the things done at the end of the month for going into the uh, fourth quarter here so that worked out okay so that's all good tattoo crazy I hope you're doing okay if you're just coming in please hit the like button 
Uh, we don't have memberships here. We don't have Patreons. We don't have GoFundMes. We just have you, your thumbs, and voluntary things that you choose to do for the channel. And that is appreciated. Hobo, good to see you. Where am I located? Do you mean my specific street location at this moment? Do you mean my GPS coordinates? Or do you mean my basic city within the framework of the United States or do you mean which continent I'm in or which planet I'm on in the solar system let's narrow it down yeah busy to my opinion anything with the rosy girl would be an experience yes it is it's a different kind of experience move on weirdo thank you in case you're wondering dude they're 38 triple D okay just in case you're wondering, hi Patricia, Latitude, and I'm in Santa Rosa, California. I am sitting, yeah, I'm in the rascal, little rascal. I'm sitting on the corner of the Avenue of Love and the Street of Shattered Dreams right here. How you doing, Cindy? Good to see you. But I am just pain, 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 pain today. I mean, you can't play like you're a 20 year older out there pounding, uh, you know, buckets of balls last night. I mean, we had a blast. I mean, it was great. We had the Heineken Cup. And that was a good time. And I'm sorry to those of you who were in Canada, United Kingdom, and Australia. I, uh, it was blocked on replay in those uh, countries. So I do apologize for that. Yep, I'm in the Hotel California, Attracted 40. That's right, Hobo. Thank you. Put it out there. Put it out there. Put it out there. We're at Gas Station Chronicles. <laughs> no, I didn't call you a weirdo, Penny Pincher. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we've done so much lately. We've been so physical between the biking and then picking up the golfing and then wrestling with the uh, repairs on the rancho and the raking and the tree work. And it just all physically caught up with me last night. I could not get I could not get warm sleeping and then when you finally get warm you know what happens you know what happens about three o'clock you finally and then you gotta pee right then you gotta get up oh my god you gotta get up and pee and get a drink of water and crawl back in you can't immediately get to sleep so you put on hangouts who's doing what who's who's fetching and complaining that you can listen to, or else I listen to heavy rain and wind, and that, that helps me sleep a bit, a little bit too. So, good evening, Bella Rose. Congratulations to you on the sale of your plate. We have the same water problem. We have someone come take out the old one and fix up the new. If you don't want to do, we do go and have a lot of water problem. We do. And uh, Wendy Pack Rabbit WP80. Thanks for having my back all the time. Because she, she's moving up rapidly in the queen of the rancho sweepstakes here. Hey, computer chick, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, good evening, Kay. Sandling. I don't know. I don't have a bathtub anymore. I pulled it out for Missy Jen. So I walked down the streets on a boulevard of broken dreams. That's it. What's up, Donnie? How you doing, brother? Cruising the coast tonight. Yeah. Well, that was fun watching the Kiss concert. I enjoyed that. But uh, so people really gave you a lot of problems in the comments section there, Donnie. Oh, God, this guy looked like an old turtle. Dude, this guy could hardly move on the stage. Hey, man, they're still out there pounding it, okay? They're still out there pounding it on the uh, concert uh, circuit. You can't beat that. Just wondering, because I was following your trip to um, Vegas. Yeah, that's cool. Which one? Which one? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed the KISS video. You had some pretty good uh, pretty good footage in there. How you doing? Uh, what was that? Uh, Roslyn? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. It's my life. Hello to you. Um, what do you think cumulatively? I guess if I continued to pace myself with doing this type of physical work, I would eventually get to a point where it wouldn't be as... Um, you know, you, you learn to adjust to it. You learn to sleep when you really need it and stuff like that. But it's very hard. You guys know when you have, like, your knees hurt or something or your, uh, 
you know, it's just, it's difficult to, uh, it's difficult to sleep. And I got some, like, Dollar Tree bed or something, so that, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Not literally a Dollar Tree, but, you know, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> hey, LaDonna, how you doing, sweetie? Can you imagine a Dollar Tree bed? <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> you know, it's one of those ones they sell that people return it in 30 days and then they steam it or whatever. It didn't function for them, so it's, it goes on sale. What's up, Rio Bird? I hear the new Sopranos film isn't so good. Yeah, the streets of Newark or whatever. I, you know, it's nothing's ever going to be as good as the original. And I don't really care how people are chatting it up and Michael Imperio and other people... Uh, Come on, man. Come on. You took, you cut the guts out of it when uh, Tony, you know, when, um, you know, what's his name died, right? It played uh, Tony Soprano, and you took out uh, Michael Imperoli dead. You got the mad Russian, God knows where in the hell he went. You got Paulie Walnuts, I guess he's still around. Right? I mean, uh, Bobby Balacqua. I mean, how many guys got whacked on that show, right? Right. So, it's not going to... My day was... It was good. I'm just... I'm in a lot of pain tonight, Kitty. I'm not going to bullshit you. My entertainment value is very low tonight, I think. But we'll still have fun. We'll end up with a nice stir-fry tonight. I've never done a week of such physical exertions in years. I mean, think about it, guys. We were pounding the streets of San Francisco on the bikes, right? I mean, that was like, whew. Welcome back to biking in a major way. How you doing, Cindy? I mean, welcome back to biking. Like, whew. you're going to go from zero to ten to the streets of San Francisco biking, right? <laughs> And then we get back, and, uh, you know, the tree job got pissed off about all the trees. We dropped all that crap, and that all be ground up and dispatched. And then that water leak. And then uh, pounding the golf balls. Uh, you know? So we're just going to bullshit and take it easy tonight and just have some fun. Right? Just, just have a good time. Slow and steady. Yeah, give yourself a day to recover. I don't really... You know, LaDonna, I'm lucky I don't have arthritis. I just have used muscles that I haven't used in a long time. I'm a very athletic person. Um, I don't want to say gifted athletically, but I'm a very athletic person. You know, I mean, I haven't picked up a golf club in 20 years, and I'm out there, you know, even last night winning the Heineken Cup and stuff. Um, you know, I enjoy it. I can pound the hell out of a golf ball. But it's just, if you haven't done it in 20 years, and you haven't wrestled a 200-pound cast iron uh, water tank, and then wrestled tree limbs, and it's just, it's cumulatively, it's taken a very heavy toll. Like, if I was, like... If I was to head out to Las Vegas tomorrow, I would not enjoy the experience because it would just, I, my mind wouldn't be right because, you know, guys, we need to be chooching. We need to be out there on the streets. We need to be cutting it up, right? We need to be over to Cemetery of Light. We can't get into Woodlawn Cemetery anymore because they got that chain because of the homeless problem there. But you know what I mean? You need a rosy, just frisky, upbeat, rested, ready to go. So we're going to dovetail that in to, um, um, you know, having a good time and then uh, pop that into, uh, you know, we'll have a good time there. I need a break. That's right, Shemutz. You need a break. Suck, suck, and soak in Epsom salts or have someone use a rolling pin on your muscle. Yeah, in this neighborhood, that rolling pins lab probably gonna, they'll probably rob you and take all your shit, right? Uh, <laughs> I'll be all right. But, um, um, you know, I think, the, I think, I think the worst thing is, you know, when you're trying to sleep and yeah, and I just, I don't know, for whatever reason, I couldn't really get warm last night, right? I don't know why. Because I don't, I don't do well when the seasons change into, into from warm to cook. Because I'm still living like, you know, all the doors and windows are still wide open and stuff all the time. Right? Epsom salt. What do you think of a forest lawn torn in L.A.? That'd be cool. 
Good time. Yeah, Miranda, we always have a good time no matter what we're doing. We always have a good time. You, I do not believe that YouTube is a place that you come as a dumping ground. I think that if you're going to be, my philosophy, you come on to entertain people. But let's be realistic. You can't be, you know, firing a hole every single night, right? I'm going to still have my beer tonight, but I'm going to relax. We're going to cruise around a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of walking checking things out and have a good time so i really don't see any need really of keeping my groundskeeper anymore yeah arnica is good too i have some topical arnica my f plastic surgeon gave that pre-surgery to reduce bruising afterwards so uh that's good stuff so i, I mean i'm honest with you guys i'm just telling you that um you know physically I'm just spent I'm exhausted so I need to re-energize I need I know I need to uh, so I think I'm excited maybe to just um, maybe just focus on a uh, uh, little bit of Vegas and then into LA and I got to pick something up I'm not gonna spend I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I don't know what I'm gonna do you know uh, it's just a lot of moving parts. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Prancer. I appreciate that. Love your video content. Thank you. And a princess who has essential oils. Yeah. Yeah. How about a princess for a nice massage? Huh? How about that? The Queen of the Rancho. Hey, Rosie, it's massage time. <laughs> like Shamir on uh, with Anthony Bourdain going to get the Uzbekistan massage or something. The sound of that <laughs> crunching and everything else. Good to see you, Donnie. I'm not. I'm gonna try to put things together, Sean. Um, and good to see you, Sean. Nice to see you. Painting test panels to pick out wall colors. Do big. Do big pieces of it. Biggest mistake now is it. Uh, people will get those little color samples and they will paint a section and think that's good and then they see that color on the whole wall and it's like oh my god mistake mistake so uh so i'm gonna see you about uh, la and good to see you sean i hope you're doing well i did take spanky out for a little bit today that was on the b channel over there and that was fun LaDonna, that was far and away the very best app. Uh, that was the very best episode of Anthony Bourdain with Shamir. And I, I laughed so hard, I thought I was going to have to be hospitalized. The sound effects that they put in. And I loved Bourdain's very dry sense of humor about stuff. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Uh. So I worried when I woke up this morning, like, oh, shit, I hope I don't have breakthrough COVID symptoms or something, you know, because I had like a mild headache. And then I thought to myself, well, it's probably because you were editing the video and, you know, I get a headache now when I'm using the, the I probably need to get glasses uh, for close work because I'm getting headaches now when I'm, um, you know, using the phone, because I do all my editing on phone, basically, so, but things have been good, how you doing, Jody, good to see you, babe, nice to see you, but things have been going good, I, I got nothing to complain about, I mean, the channel's doing fantastic, I'm happy, uh, both channels are firing along, and we're just, we're having a good time, lots of good stuff coming ahead, uh, Bourdain was such a trouble soul, he's so much, yeah, I was going to see the uh, documentary Roadrunner, but uh, the critics said there was really just nothing new. And um, the most I got out of it was like from his first wife and stuff, interviews that, uh, interviews that she did, right? Uh, and just how, I don't know, I think sometimes when you get into very heavy heroin drug use and stuff like that, I just think... I don't know if your mind ever snaps back 100%, right? And also how really intensely private, like Bourdain didn't want to, he didn't want to socialize with people, right? 
like if he had a rancho, he wouldn't want anybody on the rancho. It would be like a, um, uh, who, who in the hell was that Brando? It would be like a Marlon Brando. Stay the hell away. Free corn holio testing. Nah, it's nothing they could do about it anyway, Patricia. I'm okay. Tough as nails, right? Um, but the thing with Bourdain was that um, he was a very complex person. And I don't think... You know, he, he worked in a kitchen. He liked, I think the thing with Bourdain is if he could do it all over again, I think he found his ultimate happiness bitching about working in a kitchen and then at the end of the night drinking with the guys and the gals when they close the restaurant up at midnight or 1 a.m. in the morning and just getting shit-faced and crawling home and doing it all again. That sense of teamwork and all that kind of thing. And then... I don't know if he liked the responsibility of, uh, hey, Anthony, always be funny, you know? And we feel that sometimes it's just minuscule little creators. Be funny, you know? Be entertaining. Uh, and it's not always easy, right? Because, oh, we're going off to Romania. What the hell, you know? I mean, shit. God knows what I'm going to be eating. How you doing, Josh? God knows what I'm going to be eating over there. You know, and uh, what production problems we're going to have and all this and that. They could never shake his DNA. Yeah, it just haunted him. And you wouldn't see that from the surface because, you know, you had some reality TV show production values. And he had a crew of handlers around him. And I think he lost that. I think he lost. He yearned for that ability to just to just speak plainly and tell the truth about shit. And not to doctor it for CNN and uh, you know Travel Channel and all that kind of stuff. Because let's say let's let's face it, the best Bourdain is when he was unplugged on cable, right? I'm lucky that I don't have hard drugs like that. I think a lot of people are. I think it's a it's a long tail problem. You know, they took you to a place that it's hard to be get back to. Bourdain had a unique talent. Show the ugly and the weird. Yeah, exactly. And, and travel the world. But after a while, the pressure of, well, where are we going next? And you're committed to do, what are you committed to do? 30 shows or 20 shows for uh, CNN. And it just gets to be uh, mind-boggling. You know? And then you throw a love life on there. Uh, you know, with that girl, Asia Argenta, or whatever. It just is, it's complicated. Uh, I always laughed at his distaste for... I laughed at his distaste for... Uh, and I shouldn't say this because Guy Fieri is a Santa Rosa native too, but his disdain for Guy Fieri, Guy Fieri and uh, Rachel Ray. But he never understood that the, that the average... You know, there's a whole audience. How you doing, Robert? There is a whole audience that loves to... Uh, watch Rachel Ray and there's a whole audience that loves to watch Paula Dean and uh, Ina Gartner and all these kind of it's, and I just don't think he was too summarily judgmental sometimes about that, what people enjoyed seeing well, a lot of pressure looking like fun of exhausting <laughs> I'm a true rock star, yes I am uh, he loved Ina Gartner I respect Ina Gartner was always far and away my favorite um Food Network personality because she always seemed so at ease with what she was doing, you know. And she demanded very high production values at her at her home on Long Island and her life with Jeffrey, who was a professor of Yale University. Um, you know, there was just that uh, there was a genuineness. There's just a genuineness to what the, to what she does, and I just. I really connected to her, and then I made her triple lemon overload pound cake, and it was just astounding to me, right? So, I mean, I love all that stuff from the glory days of, like, the Food Network and things, and I could appreciate all of it. She loves, yeah, she loves her husband, yeah. I love that tattoo crazy, like they have their own Shalom Shabbat on Friday, and we will be having our Shalom Shabbat tomorrow night. But Jeffrey would get his roasted chicken every Friday night. Could you imagine that? 
Oh, what a world! <laughs> and I'm looking at it, ramen noodles or whatever. <laughs> Best thing the night was unplugged from cable. Use Roku and Fire Stick. Yeah, that's great. That's great, LaDonna. That's good. And I think also LaDonna backing away from YouTube and a lot of the drama is a, is a healthy thing too. Yeah, Ina Garten, yeah. Glad you had a good time, Robert. So, um, yeah, really good time. And I just have a lot of good memories of Bourdain. His death hit me really hard. Robin Williams, I never really keyed into Robin Williams too much. High and, you know, because he was, I always associated him with Mark and Mindy and the really early uh, stuff. But Bourdain was the most relatable sort of character that I'm like, yeah, he's like ultra cool, you know, and this is the kind of guy you want to travel with. I never felt that way about Andrew Zimmerman. I just said, hey, this guy's kind of a dork, you know, I mean. Andrew Zimmerman's the kind of guy you kind of ditch at a bar or whatever. Yeah, leave Zimmerman behind and just tell him we felt sick or whatever. And then you're out in the back alleys of the Casbah in Morocco or something, right? <laughs> I think Blackbird's are. He was tired. He came. He came back to the rancho. He was kind of laying out on the bed uh, today. We've just been we've been ramming it hard. Not a fan of Robin. Met Robin with there in one time. Bobby McFerrin, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's cool, Sean. Well, you meet them all because of your job. Right? <clears throat> Robin Leach started the Food Network after lifestyles that are rich and famous. I'm Robin Leach, and tonight we'll be leeching on the rich and famous. Yeah, I sure remember that. Right, John Ritter. Yeah, I like John Ritter. He was very relatable. He was like the Jack Lemon of our day, right? The um, you know the Jimmy Stewart of our day, kind of rumbling, stumbling, funny kind of guy. Never took himself too seriously. I stopped going to drama by uh, like six days over the sun. Just totally. Yeah, there you go, John Belushi. Uh, oh, you're really looking for a house to buy there, huh? Robert, you really like that area. Hey, Booty. How you doing? You really like that Branson, Missouri area, huh? I gotta go check it out. I only knew, you know, Missy Jen lived in, in, in uh, on the northern fringes of the Ozarks there. When you get down to Jefferson City and um, Carthage and down in the, she was up in Clinton, uh, Sedalia and up in those areas up there, deep water. Which was pretty cool. I mean, you can live, you can live like a king or queen for peanuts up in those areas. Yeah, like up the screen, the stream, and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah, Tom Petty. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, I may um, delay for one more week the trip to you know I got Tara coming in in November which is great that's my really key thing that I'm keying down on I love Tara I'm determined when she comes in November we're gonna have a great time we're gonna kick ass now uh, I may head to like Thursday head to LA so I have Thursday Friday Saturday and uh, uh, know Sunday uh, and then come up maybe I'll see Robert back and everybody down there and uh, hang out with Kev we'll get some chicken in the bag again uh, have a good time and then uh, push push back for one more week I know we're getting to Halloween time but so what who cares you know to um, uh, get close to that down there I found one next to Taney Como Lake and made an offer 22 Wow, holy crap, 22000 above price and didn't get it. <clears throat> well, if it had been me reading me, I would have said I made an offer $22 above the price and didn't get it. <laughs> How you doing, Vern? Right, that's more That's more in my way. I'm $22 above the ask. <laughs> the realtor's like, are you shitting me, $22? Yeah, let's go, let's go above asking, 22 bucks. <laughs> Okay, right. All right. Well, this ain't gonna go through, right? 
Do 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 do. A pretty woman walking down the street. Mmm. Anyway, that was, um, it's frustrating to me. I love Jackie Gleason. God, I love Jackie Gleason. Uh, the things I loved about Jackie Gleason, he never practiced, okay? He never rehearsed. He hated to rehearse. <laughs> and it drove the rest of the cast crazy on Dumont's Cavalcade of Stars, which preceded, that's really where the Honeymooners was born with Pert Kelton and uh, the Cavalcade of Stars before the Honeymoon. He hated to rehearse. He was usually like three sheets to the wind and shit. Start early, drink late. But he was highly athletic too. He was a hell of an athlete. I mean, he could dance beautifully despite being almost, you know, three bills or whatever. He was a hell of a pool player and just funny as hell, you know, and just, um, I just absolutely love Jackie Gleason and Art Carney, the Ralphie boy. Norton! <laughs> Damn me. You, Ralph? <laughs> Norton! <laughs> Thinking, let's get over Halloween. I'm ready for Janet. Yeah, well, I, I have other, I usually see some family on Thanksgiving. And then I usually do Christmas with uh, with Janet. You actually pay attention and acknowledge. Of course I do, Booty. Thank you. I've always paid attention to my um, chat. I love Jackie Gleese. Even on the, um, uh, Smokey and the Bandit and stuff. I mean, I was, they, they got a lot of mileage out of him. And he was great in... Um, you know, uh, Requiem for a Heavyweight, and uh, oh, he was a, he was a good actor too. Never miss Jackie or Red Skelton. Yeah, snowing in the mountains already. Well, wow, Vern. Wow. How you doing, Linda Harper? How you doing tonight, honey? Good to see you. We're just uh, I'm not as entertaining as I might usually be. Whacking a ball. We will be downtown later. He made movies. Yes, he did. And he cut records. Very popular records, of which I have one. Music for Lovers was a, a best-selling uh, LP. And he had the uh, June Taylor dancers. Right? Hey, let it go. Love you, too. Okay, I got a lot of mileage out of Burt Reynolds back in the day, yeah. I was never really a Sally Fields person, though, because, I don't know, I was, I'd go all the way back to Gidget and the Flying Nun and all that kind of crap. I was more of the, I like the Karen Valentine, the kind of Room 222 kind of look. Like the Valerie Bertinetti, kind of the pug little nose and the girl next door kind. Whoa, how sweet it is. Whoa. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, Rosalind Russell could belt out a song. My God. Hmm. Gypsy and all. She could belt out a song. She was what you call the consummate Broadway. Uh, well, they called her a Broadway bitch. Her and Ethel Merman were known as Broadway bitches because they could really belt it out, man. You had to turn the sound down and everything. Flying Nun was a fave, huh? How about that? How about that? Ray Bradbury. Woo, woo, woo. Doris Day and Rock Hudson. Yeah, they did it, you know. They did it up. Pillow Talk. I remember when I was a kid watching Please Don't Eat the Daisies. I think that was Robert Niven. David Niven, I mean, who I loved. He was cool. Yeah, glory days, guys. There's really no standout people today in anything, right? Shit's so formulaic. Right. Love American style. That, mm, 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 mm. For me and for you, yeah. Laughing, yeah, and all that rough stars day. Yeah. 
Yeah, Tom Hanks and Peter Scolari. Peter Scolari went on to um, the New Heart show, and his career kind of died right there. I mean, that was kind of the end of the line. He was kind of a goofball, whatever. You know, Carol Burnett show. Yeah, I used to like Suzanne Plachette, New Heart, all that stuff. But getting back to Bourdain, I was kind of disappointed. I, I thought, you know, I didn't actually go pay money to see the um, Roadrunner because they just said there wasn't any new information. But that then stuff coming from his ex-wife, first wife and stuff, that was a little more telling about his, uh, the dark side of, uh, you can't, see, fame just doesn't really move the needle. I can't think of anybody that ever was famous that just reveled in that stuff. Eventually, they end up trying to, uh, you know, there's some downside to it. You know what I'm saying? Some definite downside to it. You just don't, yeah, Joan Rivers. I was one of the last people to see Joan Rivers in concert. Right, June of uh, 20, uh, 2013. Is that nanobot? Damn. God, that looks like friggin' nanobot. No, I guess not. Better get a jacket, honey. Here we got incoming. No, I don't. Sorry. Sorry. Just want to know if I had a mask. <sighs> hey, Sherry. How you doing? My mom and I love Lindsay Taylor and Richard Burton. Well, you know, soap with Billy Crystal. That was pretty funny. Twilight Zone and a lot of up-and-coming actors. Yes, it did. Like William Shatner. Uh, poor girl walking around her belly hanging out and just doesn't have a jacket or anything oh I feel some money going to be leaving my wallet really soon <laughs> Hey, Texas Red Leg, how you doing? I get that jittering feeling again. I'm going to have some money leaving my uh, leaving my wallet. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you don't even remember Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. What a weird-ass show that was. The Ferndale Flasher and... Oh, man. Famous line. Can we talk... Yeah, she was funny in her uh, performance in Reno. We saw her at the uh, Hilton in Reno. And uh, we have it on, I have it on video from June of 2013. And she was funny. Oh, I had lunch with Kim Kardashian. I hated that bitch. You know, she, she just put these, these zingers in. Uh, yeah, 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 Miss Joan Rude. Next time you're in San Francisco, take us to the old... Yeah, I guess we could go to the full house. I was very glad to go to the hate because thousands and thousands of people will enjoy that video now of the uh, hate. That was, a, that was a lot of fun down at the hate. Yeah, we could do that. Go check that out, too. That's it. It. I love Mary Hartman. She loved to polish her floors. This girl's screaming. I guess she was able to pull that mask out of the garbage can over there. I guess so. I don't know who 
she was screaming at or whatever. Uh. Oh, you like the love boat? Love, exciting. Oh, we're expecting you. I think this girl's about to get her uh, basket raided here. You look around, see if there's anything worth taking in the baskets. Hmm. Just dig in. Anything in the purse? ID. I might be able to use that. Somebody left there. Oh, something might be in there. There's a jacket. I might be able to use that. Why in the hell not? You know, finders, keepers, right? That's the way stuff goes down over here. Oh, boy. I don't know if this chick's gonna go nuts or these two are lovers or what the hell, I don't know. You know, everything's so, uh, so predictable. But I'm glad to see this girl's getting her vitamin C here. That's a very good, uh, very good thing. Now that she pawed through all of the, uh, all of the goods in the cart and everything. All right. Might as well check the other side, too. It's in here. Take that. Yeah, why the hell not? Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Why the hell not? Uh, it's just the way it goes. It's the law of the uh, it's the law of the streets, right? It's the law of the streets. They might be stars. They might be lovers. I don't know. They, all these people know each other on the street, right?
All right. Oh man, that was awesome. Thank you, ACDC. Whole lot of Rosie. I guess the, these all these shopping carts are kind of uh, interchangeable, right? She ain't gonna get that smoke lit yet. Here she goes. This is the second time this woman's been nailed now. Gave her half a cigarette to smoke. There we go. That's it. What's up, Gling? Air guitar. Oh, she gave her a smoke. How nice. Gave her another smoke. That was that was very, 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 very nice, huh? Do 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 Yep, hello Kenneth. Pleasure to be with you too. Yeah, we've just been hanging out, Gling. It's a very low profile night. And tree near your water, oh fresh OG. They were like orange they were like lemons, Meyer lemons. Yeah, here's I love we got this guy coming in on his mini, mini, mini motorcycle here. I love these things. These little mini, 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 mini. What a place, man. What a place. Finally, she lit that smoke up. The laundromats here just don't do a real good business, you know. This is it. This is the this is the cutting edge right here. This is the bleeding edge of the future. I told you guys, this is it. It's a Mad Max world out here. People can barely keep their clothes on on the street. This woman has now been sitting in front of this gas pump for 20 minutes. I think Bird's taking it easy tonight. I'm going to be cooking in a while. I'm just kind of hanging out and chilling. It's been a physically exhausting week for me this week. Hey, I'm doing good, Rouge. Nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. How's it going? I always just try to remind myself that's somebody's daughter. That's the thing I try to remind myself. Did you miss the delivery man today? Uh, I didn't get any deliveries today that I saw, but they were working on the front street all day. So, I don't know.
Yeah, it's, it wasn't bad, Gling. I mean, I got a lot of stuff done, but it's, uh, I got to take a break uh, from just the physical work. I mean, we, you know, tackled the tree, the grinding all that crap up, 500 pounds of that stuff, and then immediately getting over to the uh, water tank and wrestling that 200 pound cast iron water tank and then dealing with, uh, you know, golfing and hours on the driving range last night. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Feeling it tonight, but I'm enjoying the show. It's a nice, uh, it's a really nice change of pace tonight. Yeah, so I need a rest. I need a good night's sleep tonight, for sure. I think I'm going to take a, a melatonin tonight. I think I'm just going to have one beer. All right, well, it looks like the rush is over. Now let's cruise around, see what's going on tonight. I don't know where this girl in pink is right now. I don't want to hit her. She'll be the new owner of the rancho, right? Do 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 do. Oh, you're sweet. I might have missed it though. You clean the gutters. Here he's doing. I just use. I just put a glove on and just reach in with my hands. God gave me five fingers on each of them. That's why my hands are so atrocious. Right. Ooh, there's a big rat back there. Ooh, there's a few rats back here. Running around. Man, look at them. It's like Rat City, USA. field day with all those sugary drinks, right? Nice big fat jobs too tonight. Those rats are the size of microwave ovens. They're Welcome to the hood. things are enormous. They're there for all the food. It's cool, huh? All running around. It's always a good show. The rat show. Welcome to the hood. Hey, Joni, they're very well fed. You got bit by that, you might as well just uh, drop yourself into a grave. You get all kinds of... This one's falling over and stumbling. I don't know if it's fighting with the other one. Yeah, it's like they're fighting. Fighting or banging. Right. 
Look at that. These things are fierce too. They'll stand up. We saw them in Petaluma at the grain mill. And they absolutely stood up to the cat and just swatted the cat in the face. Cat just went the other direction. Hundreds of them. That's the pet in the hood. Remember that, Michelle? Remember that? That sucker just swatted that cat. Yep, it's the uh, it's the time of tribulation. It was crazy, wasn't it, Hobo? I mean, I got that cat. I couldn't believe it. I was going to clip that and put that up. I couldn't even believe it. Yeah, these are really jumbo city rats, these jobs. These would be like the size of like, uh, you know, small dogs and stuff. Just the cat just gets too used to them being around, right? There's a big job coming on the left there. Big boy running around. They're always hungry. They're living underneath of that uh, container there. Yeah, they're coming out from the side over here. Right there. Yeah, they're always hungry. They're like eating machines. They might be done with their initial frolic now at, uh, at dusk. Yeah, if the 7-Eleven guy doesn't come back. Yep, I think the initial frolic is over. Right, they like to get out there early. Right. Yeah, getting bolder. Pretty soon they'll be chewing on your toes, so just be aware. Right, it's a rat's world. Yeah, I think they're done with their evening frolic. Hey, Jennifer, how you doing? There's all kinds of bags of chips and shit over there and everything. Those rats are everywhere. In the store. They're always jumping around. They live in our midst. These people sleep with them every night. Right. They're all over that store. Since the pandemic, the health department's not doing any inspecting. It's called the yo-yo. You're on your own. 
the yo-yo principle. Oh yeah, the rats were, yeah, that's why they had those round things. This chick's giving somebody the finger. You got the heebie-jeebies now. This is just another day on the street here. Yeah, they can drag slices of pizza around and everything. Drag it all over. Uh, we were bike riding here today. Let's walk over here today. Just do a little walk. They carry bubonic plague and I'm sure there'll be some new mystery thing like the Middle Ages that just uh, flees or some new thing. Why is this guy on my hand? This guy's got his Halloween display up over here. Look at that. How cool does that look? Goat head, dude. Since you got such a hard on to go, goat head. Goat head, dude. up his Christmas tree. Yeah. Wow. All right. I think I'm going to put my jacket on tonight. Really nice El Cortez Jack. Courtesy of Mr. Z. And nice. Let's get some chuchin gloves on. Right. In case we need to get at it on the street tonight. This the streets of the rats of the street tonight. Let's get it on, baby. Let's get it on. Let's take the pepper spray. We're going to try to walk it off tonight. Get ourselves healthy again. It's too much physical work this week. Alright. What's our battery level? Uh, oh, we're only 50. Why in the hell ain't this charging? Might not have much battery left on this mofo. All right, all right, let's move it, move it, move it. At this particular moment, I haven't a clue where Bird is. Ooh. All right, let's take our keys carefully here.
Yeah, I just got to make sure this thing is charging. Yeah, we seem to 52%. Yeah, I need to put my keys away safely. That's always critical. Uh. All right. Let's see what's going on tonight. The half court of doom right next to the freeway. Right here. like to check out this memorial where this kid got killed. They always put new stuff up. This kid was shot to death, 17, right here in the park. Still got the memorial flowers. Yeah, I got into it. I was on it on the Murphy Channel. I had to bike. I went out for a little bit of a bike ride on Spanky today to try to shake feeling funky. So I'm all bundled up tonight. I got a sweatshirt and overcoat at 60 degrees, but shake it out. How you doing, Amanda? Feels like I'm zero zoomed in too much here. Kind of a sad bridge here. Yeah, I was biking here today. Wonder if I should get the flashlight. What the hell time is it? That's 6.30. We got about another hour, I think. I think we'll be all right. Well, I just, I'm feeling slightly under the weather, Vanilla. I think all the hard work and lack of sleep is uh, taking a toll. There goes the Popo. Man, he's flying. Yep. We'll all pass this way. But I find if I bundle up, I'm more comfortable. I don't know what happened over there. It's very cold and blustery tonight. Oh, uh, thank you. why I'm bundled up. If I wasn't bundled up, the wind is really blowing tonight, so that takes the wind chill down to like the 40s, so. But I got this nice jacket on.
thank you, Liz. There's a good thumbnail, Jody. Rush hour in Santa Rosa. Yeah, they'll be coming up again, Mark. Thank you, Jody. I don't want to see rats on the bridge. Oh, my shoe's untied. Hold on a minute. Mark, it is windy tonight. I'm gonna figure out why the hell this. Uh, I think it's because this uh, car wash doesn't recycle water. It might still be open. I don't know. It looked like they got a couple bays open. I thought they had to shut them down. I know this looks so ghetto, right? Ugh. It's a ghetto world, baby. It's a zombie wasteland here. That's a weird old crap growing in there. Just, everything just looks ugly, you know? Scary, isn't it, Tammy? There's a lot of people living up over here. But everybody's been pretty nice to me when I've come through here. These streets all used to go through in the old day. What the hell's that? It's a traffic cone. Oh, somebody's got a cooler. God, what if you open it up and there's a human head in it? Then what are you gonna do? You gotta think on that a minute. You know? Let's vote on the side chat. One says open it, two says let it be. Make your vote count now. God knows what you, you could see dismembered body parts or nothing. One, 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 one. Two, two, one, one. Terry's like, no. Seems like the ones have it. Oh, oh shit, there's all kinds of spiders and everything on that. Let's get around. Other side. Thought I saw a spider dropping out of the tree here. Gotta watch out for rattlesnakes here. Oh. 
big western diamondback rattlers. Damn, look at that thing. Oh, it's light. Ooh. All right. Man, that's a nice cooler. That's an igloo, man. Woo, it smells like shit. Somebody took a shit in it. Oh, God, turn. So gross. Oh, that smell hit me. I can't use that cooler now. As much as I like a good igloo cooler, it would ever be, everybody would always say it's the shit cooler, you know? I can still use it, but you know, think of the, think about the backlash on YouTube though, right? I mean, let's keep it real. What the hell would they say, right? Oh, there's the shit cooler. Everybody's like, what does that mean? Oh, back in October, I took a cooler full of shit and just cleaned it out and used it. Really? What is that person insane? Man, this is really sketch looking too, right at the car wash, like really? Little 220. Jeez, everything's like a death trap. No trasp sick. Let's get a screenshot of that. Thank you, Jody. Oh, man. Look at this car wash and doom. You can electrocute yourself here. Look, it's just supposed to be closed, right? Ollie One Bass Car Wash. Ollie One Bass Car Wash. No, no garble from yo house or your juvie. Oh, I guess that means don't bring your trash and shit from your house and dump it here, right? You wonder where those people get the credit cards overseas and charge up all your shit. Here it is right here. Huh? That's it right there. This man, the nozzle of doom. That's like a COVID super spreader right there. Yeah, it's got crime scene tape right here. Look at this, right? 
I guess this means there's only one bay for the car where don't bring your garbage from home and don't bring your juvenile, whatever. Kid. But amazingly, when I'm out chooching, I'm feeling better. All right. Man, what the serious hell is this? Looks like a murder scene over here. I think somebody's living in that. God darn, that looks like a mur murder scene. What a great place for a Hollywood movie right here, like a horror film. Car wash 2021. Right, they just put that hose down somebody's throat and just turned it on full and just exploded them. Damn, look at this. Really? What a beautiful place for like a horror movie, right? You're right underneath the California overpass, right? Crime scene tape, barbed wire, busted chain link fence, right? Lots of hood rats around, people crapping in coolers. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, that just screams 2021 right there. You like that wash, huh? Wash your clothes, turn on your water. That's Baltimore, baby. Let's get it. Let's get a full appreciation for this scene, how we would frame that up for the movie poster. Look at that pink sky there. Let's get the best direction over here. Problem, we got that pole. You'll have to get this pole removed for the movie shoot. Yeah, look at that. Let's bust a cinematic move. It's right there, man. Look at that sky of doom. Let's get a shot of that, Jody. Jody, that's that's classic right there. Yeah, somebody's gonna get a car wash today. <laughs> yep, should have a hundred thumbs up. Hi, Vicky. Yeah, Netflix is gonna steal. This is like an ideal location right here. Let's see if we can get a better frame up on it. Yeah, look at that, man. The pink sky of doom and everything. He said, I need a good California whore. A good nasty one. Look at that scene, man. Look at that scene. I mean, it's beyond belief. Yeah, the Purge 2022, T.O., right? Wow, that's just classic. get that shot Jody we might have an award winner here that's a great movie poster cover right there right the car wash of doom right, that's pretty damn cool you know I don't know what's down this I've never gone up that way it's not real long over there but I think there's a lot of people 
Look at that beautiful pink sky. Right. Yeah, there's always guys looking for a uh, pickup. Then they see the camera and they get all freaked out. Yeah, the virus came out. Right. All you need is to, you got to set it up so the lights are flickering in the car wash thing. And then, uh, you know, beautiful 22-year-old girls pull up. Oh, let's get a car wash tonight. Start playing their music, rock a beer or two, and the next thing you know, wink, 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 wink. It's like, what the hell is this over here? Yeah, well, you get them all the time here. I mean, I'm not really dressed up too nice either. They even got the vacuum cleaners of doom over here. What kind of nasty stuff this is sucked up. Well, they just destroyed this thing. Huh? Don't work. I wonder if there's any money inside. That could be a rat hole right there. It's like a black widow nest right there. Yeah, you like that plastic, right? You always got guys looking to, for a quickie out here on the streets in this area. Look at that, even that, even that pole is scary as hell. 965, right? I mean, look at that, you could do a hell of a cinematic move right here. How's this guy gone? This used to be a car dealer back in the day. Beautiful. Now he's creeping around. He's creeping around. Look at that sky tonight. This is prime time choochin' right now. There's your rosy girl. Right there. The international symbol of fine choochin'. With the gas station of doom. Prime time choochin' tonight. Thank you, low frequency, real rosy hours. That's exactly what it is. Right there. This is a biohazard contamination area. Look at this stuff. why we're not focusing on prism tonight we used to but stop and before entering the building follow instructions holy crap yeah I mean I'm all bundled up to not get attention and they're still coming around right this is the five dollar side of town right here Yeah, that's like a doorknob of doom right there. 
Man, you gonna see that thing. Biohazards. Like, what the serious hell? What could it be? If you do not have a scanner application. Crap, radioactive biohazard in there. Must be somebody might have died in there or something. I don't know. The old, uh, the old car dealer. Right. What the hell's inside there? There's an old copy machine. Wow, what a place of doom. I know, steer clear of that place, right? That's the first time we've ever encountered that. Hey, Cruelty, how you doing? That is kind of weird, huh? Every time you think shit can't get stranger around here, it gets more weird. What is in here? Can we see inside? Most of it's just one-way glass. I don't know. You can't really see inside too well. Uh, it's just all weird. can't get over that gas station and how hideous that looked tonight. Sonoma Life Support. That's a good murder scene right there with an old upholstered chair. Tilted lamp. Look at that lamp. You wonder why your ambulance ride costs so much money? They ain't putting it into, oh, they ain't putting it into their base, I can tell you that. Oh, man, it's really spooky tonight, huh? Here's the garage of doom over here. Sure, what did we say this place was session? Is that like a pot thing or something? It's like, like a marijuana manufacturer. Yeah, that's where they harvest organs in here. It's all part of the gas station. There's a connection between the two sides here. You could call the movie that your last ride, right? It's uh, S-E-S-S-I-O-N on A Street. Session on A Street. S-E-S-S-I-O-N. It's got to be. The only thing they're building is housing and pot places these days. And a very happy, wonderful Canadian Thanksgiving weekend coming up for all of my wonderful Canadian friends. Love you guys. Oh, there's somebody working in there. Man, what a weird place. That's where the organ harvesting goes on. There. Beautiful, those smudged windows. Look at that, beautiful. Very cinematic. Yeah, about time, Roslyn. We'll be out here a little bit longer. We really don't want to be on that bridge at dark, though. That's a good place to get your ass kicked over there. Rock climbing. What? Rock climbing? You gotta be kidding me. Rock climbing? Who in the hell is gonna do that? Oh, it's a climbing yoga fitness place. Okay, thank you. Yeah, well, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm smelling failure already right there. Wow, look at this, man. It's an old classic. What is that, a Buick? What the hell is that? 
Is that a Buick? I kind of sense that we're near the, uh, we're kind of near the uh, Hell's Angels place. What the hell is this? Oh, there's the harvest mobile where they go out and harvest the bodies in this thing. What is this? Is this a Buick? Wow, that's a really classic. Yeah, that's a Buick. It even smells like hell, too. Even the car smell around here. Look at this thing for this thing would be great in a movie. Look at this. You can imagine this baby wheeling down the street. It's like soil and green. Look at that. Wow. Communication status. Look at that. Yeah, an IP2 RV. That's a good place to start harvesting organs is IP2. Look at that, man. That's like the real deal right there. That's badass. That's, look at that shit on top there. It's got the infrared to track down the street zombies and stuff. Got the cameras for the outside. Could you imagine? Uh, you can make yourself a hell of a little indie movie right here. All right, maybe I should hire a couple starving actresses or something. And let's do a little indie movie. Put some cinematic moves on, a little bit of music. <laughs> Look at that. Don't you just dig that? Base just like that. Yeah, real zombie mobile unit right there. Look at that. Look at that sky. Screwed up looking transformers up there. Now when it rains, they'll be sparking like crazy. It'll be like lightning here. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Give a nice effect. Man, we don't want to be crossing that troll bridge when it's dark. That's, that's like where they harvest the organs oxygen to keep the tissue fresh right there yeah let's do a good cinematic passing shot beautiful that's beautiful man that is beautiful that's slasher vibes doesn't it it's just really classic looking you know and they do that all under cover of an ambulance company right Yeah, scare tactics. Yeah, that got so bad. Didn't they have to outlaw it or something? That clown, you couldn't dress as a clown or something? Was that not crazy or what? I think I remember that. You weren't allowed to dress as a clown or something, right? Right? What was those towns? Maybe it was New England or something? Boy, I just feel a thousand percent better, but I can't believe they're going to do a yoga and everything. It's such a huge investment, right? Yeah, remember, wherever we came from, we got to go back again, too. Wow. They're flying tonight. Man, this is really hella creepy now. Uh, yeah, did you hear those sirens going off? You're really in a badass area of town right here. 
I guess that's why I love it so much down here. If you're going to go, this is the place that makes you a legend on YouTube, you know? Right in the middle of a hood, just taken out. Drive by. Right here. Yeah, we'll get there, Gling. Just a couple more minutes. I got it kind of timed out. Look at this place of doom. This is another nice cinematic feature when you get the winds blowing so hard tonight. Get another nice cinematic feature here on the streets of doom. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? What's up, Jody? That's like awesomeness right there. You always have to think cinematically out here. Look at this. This is really weird because this place is open. Right? Yeah, I need a cup. It's cold tonight, man. It is blustery and cold. It's going to be cold cooking tonight. But uh, going to get a beer. What the hell is this? Let's do a uh, cinematic dolly move inward here. There you go. Now if you reverse that, you got a really cool shot. You know? Let's try reversing that now. Without falling down. That's the difficult part. Can't do it, I'm afraid I'll fall. There's the golf shop. This guy had all kinds of equipment in here. It's a good deal. Maybe Bird and I could go in together on a short set for the next Heineken Club Challenge. What is this place? Is this like an apartment here? I've never been back here before. You never see live people back here. When it gets dark, people don't go out on the streets. I mean, I never even knew this apartment complex was back here before. You know? Well, it's unreal. I've lived here all these years and never noticed this. Yeah, very few people go adventure out at night here. It's too dangerous. You know, plus there's a lot of rats and stuff running around. And this is a very violent city. You got the Motel of Doom. You know, somebody could just ride by and jack me up. What the hell are you doing? Give me your camera. Smash it right in front of your face. Look at that sky of doom. I got you covered, Michelle. Look at this. Reserve parking. Golden Gate Meat. How convenient to have the meatpacking company right here, too. You see the synergy here of the ambulance company, the car wash, right? Young people want to get detailed, their hot rides, and this is the end of the line. Golden Gate Meats right here. This is it. Look at this spooky ass place. Damn, boy, there ain't a light on there. Wow, look at this. This is the end of the line right here. Look at this, Mark. I'm not kidding. Look at the way this thing sets up. You got Golden Gate Meats right there. Family owned. See how convenient. Family owned. 
specializing in natural and organic meats. Get it? You don't have any transportation issues at all. Everything's all fresh. Hauled right in. Right there. I mean, you see something here? I mean, it's weird. We're running out of daylight here. Look at this weird operation. Let's poke around the back of this place. See if we can blow the cover on this place. Meat packing indeed. Look at this. This is just a real freak show right here. This is better than any Vlogtober. There's your final ride right into the meat locker right there. Look at that. I don't know, Michelle, eh, but wouldn't you agree that you could put together a beautiful little indie horror film here? Just on that little section of A Street right there. Right. I think Blackbird's kind of uh it's kind of beat the hell this afternoon, as was I till I got out choochin'. I would there goes another ambulance run. Till I got out and started choochin'. Then I got all fired up. All of a sudden, I'm like 100% again. I just kicked whatever I had, just boom. Been like a classic stream tonight. I know, thank you, uh, thank you, Wendy. I love you, girl. Wendy's always looking out for me. She's cool. Wow, what a great opener for the movie. Neighborhood Watch. Get that nice pull away. Look at that. Boom. This freaky place. I guess this place is empty now. I don't know, but can, you know, you could put a hell of a feature together here. You know, pitch this as a movie location. You know, the Mexican guy owns the car wash, pitch him a couple thousand bucks for a week, he's all happy, right? Golden Gate, maybe they're not too happy, but you use them for the outside exteriors, right? And this is where the brains of the operation lives, right here. This is it. Final climactic scene when you got to enter there. That's the place. Right there. Oh, I mean, it almost films itself, right? What a beautiful thing. What a beautiful, thing. like, yeah, like a Michael Myers home. Hell yeah. And the beautiful thing is it's for sale and it's got a double lot right here. Fresh meat. You guys agree, Bruce? What do you think? I mean, you got everything here. You're not locations all over God's acre. You're just in one street. 
close off the street. It's not like anybody comes up here anyway. It's all like a post-industrial shithole up here with some weird apartment house. You might have to give these people a couple hundred bucks or something. A pop. They wouldn't care. You give them a few hundred dollars, they wouldn't even care if you blew their cars up over there. Cash money, baby! Cash money. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Isn't that? What's scary is this apartment complex here because I've never noticed this thing before. And I don't want to freak anybody out by walking back there with a camera. Because let me tell you, you walk back here and I think there's somebody under that. Yeah, you might not come out again. Right. Look at that wind blowing tonight. The Golden Gate Meat Company. What a great name. Fresh and organic. Just beautiful. Thank you, low frequency. I'm going back right now. I'm heading back. There's the ambulance coming to dispatch it. There they go. They're going to oxygenate that meat till tomorrow morning. That's it, there they go. Thank you, low frequency. I got flashlights. I got it. We got incoming boys on the side. All right, here comes a car the other direction. We don't have a lot of options in case this person wants to take us out. goes the ambulance right into the garage yes. yeah you're spatchcocked all right right there business is so good they're building an ex they're building an addition to the processing for soil and green look at that place 24 hour operation right there Mortal Kombat, that's it. That's it. Mortal Kombat. That's it. Look at that. The Ambulance Company of Doom. Right there. Let's get a little more cinematic look on that. A little walk by there. Mount that up on a dolly and just move that baby right down. Soylent Green is people. It's like the Outer Limits one. To serve humanity. To serve humans. It's a cookbook. <laughs> yeah, your last ride ever. You might as well make it a memorable one. Man, it's so windy tonight. There's the cart man of doom. The bicycle harvester. There he goes. He's got to be in the movie too. Right, random people pulling their junk and shopping carts and stuff. Right. Yeah, the bike guy. He'll be the first casualty in the movie. Here he is going into the... He's going to go up on the bridge with me. This will be good. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Well, it's going to come down now, guys. Let's bust another cinematic move here. Good deal. 
Well, we know what's waiting for us on the bridge now. Yeah, the opening scene, you got to get right to the action. You know, this guy's got to come by to clean his stuff up and just boom. Somebody comes up and takes the nozzle hose, sticks it down his throat, and just explodes him right there on the spot, right? All right. Now we don't know where in the hell this guy is. We could have an unfriendly out here. That classic man. God knows what we got up here, boys. I don't know. Where in the hell is this bird? I don't know where the hell that bird went. Yeah, that was a Charlton Heston movie, Patricia. That and the Omega Man. This is a great this is a great camera angle to see the guy come in on his pull cart right there and get off right in the station right there right what a great angle and you just do that final pull away shot you're watching a scary movie right now when hell look at that If that's not scary, what the hell is? That's intense, we got to go down here. symbol of fine choo-choo. I mean, there's literally no way out if we get into it here. It's a, it's a cage match. It's a uh, definitely an MM, MMA cage match in here. Well, I've run into thugs here before. I've had very negative encounters up here. Now imagine if you saw a figure just step out from the uh, darkness right there. <laughs> 